everybody. My name is Tiffany Howe. Uh, thank you so much for being part of our group. Welcome to the party and thank you so much for supporting your hostess and being here to learn about Color Street. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the product and show you how to apply it so you can see how simple it is. Uh, there's no tricks, no gimmicks. It's just an awesome product that's really easy to apply and it's a lot of fun. So this is Color Street. It comes in a package like this. 16 strips are inside. It's 100% nail polish that's dry. So you take it out of the package, you smell it. It smells like nail polish. It is removed with regular nail polish remover that you just buy at the store. Uh, and it's completely dry on the top. So how they make it work is the bottom is 5% wet. The top is 95. So it's 95% dry all the way dry on the top and the back is still a little bit wet. So it sticks to your nails. It's really cool. So when you lift it up, you apply it, you go about, yeah. so if you get interrupted during your manicure, you get up, you change a diaper, you go to the bathroom, you have to pick toys up off the floor or find your keys out of your purse or calm the meltdown in the corner, put somebody in timeout. You can touch your nails, you can bump them into things, you can go to bed and they are completely dry the second you put them on. So they're really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys what comes in a package and I'm gonna flip you around and show you how I apply a strip so you can see how easy it is. So it comes in a package like this. I'm actually just gonna flip you guys around right now. Let me get set up here. Okay, so the strip that I'm applying is Bordeaux Glitz. It's a nice, burgundy solid base with some holographic glitter. You can see there's really fine glitter and there's also chunkier glitter, but it's very subtle. So it almost appears as a solid with just a little bit of bling. So you open up this package and you'll find the instructions right here on the back. And when you open it up, everything that you need to apply this is in the package. Okay, so you have a little nail file I cannot open it. Here we go. This stuff always happens when I'm live, every time. Okay, I've never struggled to open that before. <laughs> and you have a nail prep pad, which is essentially just an alcohol swab to clean the oils off of your nail so that the nail strips will adhere to your 100% to your nail bed and it won't have any oils on it. And then you have your strips. So let's see. This has a little tab to open it. and you get two strips in here. And already I smell nail polish. It's so awesome. Very pretty color, I love this color. That's the first time I've actually used this set before, so I'm really excited. So you wanna keep this package that they came in because you're not gonna use all of these. So whatever you don't use, you can just slip back inside of here and seal it up with a straightener or a curling iron or a regular house iron, or you could just burn the edges with like a lighter. Uh, it won't. It won't keep them fresh if you keep them in a Ziploc bag or anything like that. Or if you put them in here and leave this open, they'll still dry out because they're nail polish. So stick them inside and seal this end up with a straightener and they'll last you a really long time. So you can go back and use them again later. So I have a lot of packages like this from ones that I didn't use or I, did, I, I used them, but I didn't use all of them. So I can go through and think, oh, this is really pretty with that. I'll use this with that. And you know, you can use your leftovers later. So anyway, keep this package, it's golden. Color Street won't guarantee the freshness of your strips once you open them, and if, even if you put them in here and reseal them, they won't guarantee the freshness, but that is how you can keep them fresh so you can use them another time. Okay, so first you want to buff your nails. If I have all these um, layers and imperfections on my nail beds, I actually buff them out and then you wanna clip them and file them down to the length that you want and the shape that you want beforehand. So when you're ready to go, oh, and you also wanna push your cuticles back. So you, I just use my hands to do that. I'm just kinda of push them back a little bit. Okay, and then I just take one strip and you'll see that these are dual sided. So this side's a little bit smaller, this side's a little bit larger. That's so you can just hold them up and see the, I have really wide nail beds, so this would never fit me. Um, but you can say, oh, that's too small. You can flip it over and see if it would fit on this side. Like I said, this is way too small for me, so I don't even use that piece. I start with this piece. 
okay? And you can hold it up and kind of bend it around and you can see this, this side is still too small for me. So I know I can use this side. So you just peel up that top layer, little prote protective clear strip, and then you grab this silver tab off the white backing and peel that up and this is your nail polish strip. Okay, you can handle these. Oh my gosh, I forgot to prep my nail beds. This is a crucial part. So you wanna just go through and clean up your nail beds, make sure there's no oils on them. Even if I just washed my hands, I still do this part because you never know if there's soap residue on there still. Okay, sorry about that. Forgot that step. So, peel my strip back up here. You can handle these. They'll st they're sticky, they'll stick to you, but you'll be able to take them off. Peel off the little tab that's perforated on the top. And then you wanna, let me move this out of the way. Put it up to where it just meets your cuticle. Let me move the light a little bit, see if I can see a little bit better for you guys. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you wanna stick it up to your cuticle, not on top of it and not too far below. You wanna just stick it right up to where it meets your cuticle. I put that on super crooked, so I'm just gonna peel it up and try again. It's a lot harder to do this live than you would think. That's better, okay. And then you just kind of pull it down. You can stretch them a little tiny bit to make them fit, but not too much, because you don't want to rip them. Okay, just get it on there real good. You'll see that over here, it's a little bit big on this side. So I can just, oh, I see that someone just joined. Who's on with me? I use my thumbnail. You want to start with your pinky and work your way towards your thumb, because you're going to use your thumb and your pointer finger as tools when you apply them. So you can just take your thumbnail and push down. You see this crease right here where it's touching my skin? You don't want to leave that there because then the strip won't adhere very well. So you just push down into that crack and it just perforates the strip right where you need it to. Pretty cool, huh? And then you can just peel it right off. See how I'm using my thumb and my pointer finger to use as my tools. You wouldn't be able to do that. It's hard to do it when you have polish strips on them. So that's why I say to do those ones last. Okay, and then you just make sure it's really on there. And then you use your thumbnail to just push underneath your nail bed and cut that strip right there. And it just comes right off. And you can see I have a little bit on my cuticle. You do the same thing. You just use your thumbnail to kind of push down and break it off where it isn't supposed to be. So kind of trim it up, clean it up. Just like that. Dry, look at how hard I'm touching this. It's completely dry on the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you this finger. Okay, let's see, which one do I wanna use? I'm gonna use, because I wanna show you how I use it on one hand and then I also use it on the other. So peel off that top layer And then you can peel this up right here. And here's your polish strip. Wet on this side, dry on this side. Peel the tab off. And then stick it up right where it meets your cuticle. Got that a little bit off-centered, so let me try again. See how you can just pick them up and place them again? These nails are perfect. These strips are just so much fun. I never used to do my nails before because I didn't really care to take the time to do it. So you can stretch a little bit to make it go over. I never cared to go to the salon and paint my own nails and wait for polish to dry. I just didn't care. I always wanted to paint my nails, but I didn't care that much to go through all that trouble. So this has made it so fun to get my nails or have my nails done all the time. And they're 
affordable so I can change them as often as I want. So again, you kind of tug them down a little bit and you just bend it over your nail and use your thumb to just push and cut right underneath your nail where you want it to come off. It just peels right up. And so now I have excess, I can use it over on this hand. This is how you're gonna get the most money out of your strips. So I just slap it on right over here. And use your thumb. I know I told you to do your pointers last, but just for the sake of showing you guys how to apply it, <laughs> I wanted to show you this, this size. So there you go, completely dry. You can clean it up. You're gonna have to clean up a little bit around the edges, which is what your file is for. So you can go, go around and just clean up the edges a little bit. That's it, you guys. And I would finish my entire manicure and have pieces left. And I only spent $12 on that set. And I'm gonna have leftovers, because I told you. I don't use them all because I use one strip. So one of these strips I use for two nails. So I get to save, I get a bunch of leftovers that I can use for another manicure. It's really awesome. So really, I only spent six bucks on a manicure and they're gonna last you up to 10 days. So it depends on how hard you are on your hands. I'm incredibly tough on my hands. I, I have a home business and I work with my hands a lot and I have three little kids, so I'm constantly washing my hands and picking toys up off the ground. Mine don't last two weeks, like some people can get them to last, some people can get them to last two weeks. I can't get mine to last that long unless I double layer them, but I can double layer them and they'll last weeks without chips. But I usually just like to do one layer since I change them often anyway, because I want to try all the colors. So I usually get a week's wear out of them with no chips and then I just start itching to change them again. But you get up to 10 days Normally you get up to 10 days out of these if you're extra tough on your hands and you're finding that you have chips on the edges and wear and tear Before the 10 days just try to layer two, just do two layers on top So just apply the first layer and then go back and directly and apply another layer And that will make your strips last even longer. So if you work in construction, I know a lot of women work in construction or they um, Have jobs where they just like can't have nail polish because it will chip regardless I promise you do two layers and you'll be able to wear these and have them not chip. So that's my advice, my tips and tricks on that. We also have a clear strip that is, it's completely clear as a top coat to protect your nails and make them last longer if you're really hard on your nails. So that's all I was gonna show you. Uh, again, you just remove this with regular nail polish remover. And thank you so much for joining our party group and for learning about this awesome product. Thanks for giving it a try. Thanks for giving me a try and letting me come here and talk to you about this product. Thanks for supporting your hostess and I can't wait to party with you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching and ask any questions you have. Let me know if you want any samples. Uh, I'd be happy to send you a free sample. Even if it's after the party, there still will be time to order after the party so I can send you a sample still. Again, thank you so much.